Hello and welcome to MTI Matters, a series of programs focusing on alumni of Manatee Technical Institute and how their education at Manatee Technical Institute has made a difference in their lives, their family, and our community. My name is Kathy Matthews. I'm a career counselor, former instructor, and program director. As your host, I will be introducing you to many of your neighbors who have used MTI to better themselves. Today, I'll be happy to introduce you to a family that has done just that. All four members have graduated from programs from MTI. They're happy today to be able to tell you about their experience and encourage you as well to see how MTI can matter in your life. Today, we have Hilda Torres, the first of a family of students that have attended MTI. Hello, Hilda. How are you today? I'm fine, Kathy. I understand that um, you have a business serving our community. Uh, can you tell us what you do for your clients? Well, my business offers immigration assistance, taxes, uh, divorces, and I also perform marriages. We have a, a large population that could use those facilities and um, service. That's great. How did um, MTI help you in your journey to establish this business? Uh, it gave me the, um, uh, the skills. Um, it also um, gave me the education. Uh, also helped me uh, be able to work out there with uh, business people out of uh, talk to them and how to uh, work with the community. And how did this all get started with you? Um, did you always want to be a business person? And what programs were you in that helped you? I was in uh, mechanical drafting. Um, and how it all started was uh, back in 1983. I came to MTI. I was referred by some uh, people that I met uh, when I took my child to the doctor, they said I need to check MTI if I wanted to learn any skills. And it started when, uh, when my children were little. I came to MTI, started uh, asking questions and getting information and started uh, to think uh, that I wanted to uh, plan my children's life. And I saw MTI had a lot of things to offer, a lot of skills, and uh, that got me very interested, and I actually started planning everything for my children since they were little. How did you choose the drafting program? Um, Is this something that you wanted to do for a long time? Yes. Um, when I was in eighth grade, um, uh, one of my teachers asked me, uh, what do you want to be when you get older? I said, I want to be a lawyer or an architect. Oh, so that came all the way back from then. Yes. So um, while you were in the drafting program, were there any instructors or did you have any mentors? Uh, did they encourage you along the way? Yes, I had uh, Michelle Mollage. She was an excellent teacher. And I also had another teacher, Mr. Cronhart. He was a hard teacher, but he was a very, very good teacher. Do you anything, does anything stand out about your time with those instructors? Yes, he made me uh, be strong out there in the industrials. Um, he gave me the courage, the motivation, and, um, and taught me everything I had to know to be able to uh, design the drawings and be able to be, work out there in the workforce with uh, engineers and in industrial field. I understand that um, you were gainfully employed after you left the drafting department and you got a job. 
Yes, I worked uh, with a uh, hover round motorized wheelchair as a um, uh, electronic technician. Was the only female there. Oh, that's uh, wonderful. Yes. I also worked with uh, every, every technician that would call in the uh, hover round uh, corporation uh, requesting assistance in uh, troubleshooting for the motorized wheelchairs. Um, I had some of them call from Puerto Rico, and uh, I would have to design drawings and uh, fax them or email them to them. Great, that's wonderful. Um, so what are your future plans with your business? Uh, my future plans are to grow my business as uh, big as I can. Um, for It's kind of like my legacy for my children, mm -hmm. uh, for my son and my daughter to continue it, to be able to help the community. I'm sure you're very, very busy. Um, how do you feel that MTI uh, had a good beginning for you to help to be the businesswoman that you are now? Well, what I say when I found MTI, I found a gold mine. <laughs> I would give any parent um, the advice to check MTI. Um, because now I'm a businesswoman and I learned a lot of skills that they offered and uh, uh, if I had to go through it again, I would come back to MTI. So Hilda, um, how did you come to find MTI? Well, I wanted to learn how to type, uh, do typing. And I got uh, information from some uh, people that I seen at the uh, doctor's office so that's how I came to MTI to inquire about typing. So did you get in a typing class? Yes, I did. I was in typing class for a couple of months. Uh-huh. And um, what happened with that? Did you get a, were you typing at that time for a living? Or how did, you, how did that come about? Or Well, at that moment, I wanted to work in an office. OK. So that's why I was looking for a course that would offer typing. And I did uh, learn how to type, and uh, that helped me a lot. So when you came, um, you, you mentioned something about finding a gold mine. What do you mean by that? Well, um, when I came to MTI, I started to uh, uh, inquire, speak to all the instructors, go to their classes, and, and do my research. Um, see what they had to offer. The more I found about MTI, the more excited I got. That's why I say that uh, I found a gold mine. Uh, they offered everything to me, uh, to my family, and, uh, and I like the instructors. They uh, really uh, devote their time to their students. So you finished, you um, got the typing skills that you needed. But um, you had mentioned that um, you graduated from the drafting. So how did that come about? Well, when I was young, I wanted to be an architect. So I decided that I wanted to go into drafting to learn how to do designs and blueprints and schematics. And I uh, went ahead and went into the class, graduated with my two-year degree. and. Uh, I worked for industrials uh, doing designs and blueprints for uh, technicians that were out in the field. Uh, they could be in the country, United States or outside the country, even customers from the uh, corporation have around. I would have to design it, send it to them, and then I would have to troubleshoot with them on how to repair the electronic uh, controllers. Mm -hmm. Would you say um, that the uh, instructors that you had were very instrumental in um, you being able to complete that program? Yes, they were excellent. They uh, taught me everything that I know. And uh, I did have an instructor, Mr. Cronhard. He was hard and, and he one day said to me, and I'll always remember that, Hilda, you're, you are gonna be out there with engineers and um, you're going to have to uh, be tough. And one day he said, uh, when I walked in the door, he said, Hilda, can you give me a cup of coffee? And I look at him, and then I said, um, no, I'm a draftsman. 
And he was very uh, happy that I replied that way uh, because he said, you're not supposed to give us a cup of coffee because you are a dressman. So it was more than just um, drafting skills that you learned while you were with the MTI. Yes, yes. I learned how to be tough and be out there working with engineers. He said, uh, you're going to be working with engineers and they are hard. So you need to be hard when you're out there too. That's wonderful. Yes. Great um, inspirational story that, yes. and I think a lot of the teachers here at MTI are just like that. Yes, yes they are. Welcome back to MTI Matters. We're here with Elizabeth Torres, daughter of Hilda. And um, Elizabeth, I understand that you are working with your mom now. Yes, I'm working with her, and I'm enjoying the time I'm working with her. And what do you do for your mom? I do the business administration portion of the business. I do all the financing and the bookkeeping and um, also customer service, greeting all the clients we have that come in our, to our door in our office. And how did you learn all of those skills? I learned these skills through MTI. And what program was it? It was business administration. Business administration. And who was your instructors? I had, uh, I was uh, lucky enough to have the Rios. The Rios, Mr. and Mrs. Rio. Mr. And Mrs. Rio. Mr. Rio was my instructor. <laughs> and I graduated from that same program just a few years before wow. you. So how did you come about finding uh, MTI? I came and found it um, through uh, when I was attending um, Bayshore. I also um, was lucky enough to see the opportunity that my brother went through with my mom and they attended MTI as well. Great. So um, you would, do you remember anything that uh, Mr. and Mr. Rio uh, taught you while you were in the program? Oh my goodness, I remember everything that they taught me. <laughs> it's like stuck in my brain. Um, I remember the English portion of it, um, the, the skills I learned there with Mrs. Rio. I remember walking into the door and um, if I said incorrect word of English of grammar, or like ain't, I would just like chill. <laughs> She's like, no, don't say ain't. Um, and I also learned the skills with Mr. Rio, uh, all the applications to the business, your computer, the Microsoft Office and Word, Excel. I still use those today with my mom in the business. So you think some of those tough things that Mr. and Mrs. Rio taught you really helped you um, place you where you are today? Oh yes, they did. Without those, I don't know what I would have done or where I would be at right now. <laughs> Great. Um, did you have any special needs? I understood that you might have had some special needs. Yes, I had some special needs when I was a younger child. Um, I had um, I had a witness an uh, incident uh, accident with uh, my mom when I was younger and um, I kind of was diagnosed with a learning disability and that was kind of tough growing up when I was like I think I was diagnosed when I was in first grade and it was tough when I was learning um, as a student at the school or uh, regular school I remember being hard to you know study as versus my brother, he's kind of the nerd. <laughs> he would just grab it in one hour, and I would remember sitting there and taking two hours, maybe three, trying to learn as much as what he would learn in one hour. So one has the beauty, the other has the brains? <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. So um, how would you, where are you um, uh, as far as your education, I understand that you want to go on with your education? Oh yes, I want to go on. We're like kind of in this uh, brother-sister rivalry kind of friendly. Um, we're always competing who would have the most certificates when we were little and, you know, kind of getting that motherly, you know, I get more certificates, I get more diplomas and uh, that's what I like about our family. We're always competing, we're always, you know, challenging each other. So where are you now? I'm right now going to finish my uh, BA and I'm uh, currently a student at University of North Florida and I plan to take it further just like my brother he's taking it in masters I would like to finish my masters and maybe get my doctors one day and I would like to my goal is to take it to you know be teaching at MCC and now it's they changed these names to these schools it's SCF I believe now uh -huh. 
and uh, probably be there teaching one day in and profession, probably. probably in business and what I'm doing right now in my field. And helping your mom as well? And helping my mom as well. So um, how do you feel MTI um, gave you a start? It gave me a really huge start off because with my learning disability, I was kind of the student that was shy, and um, I was, I would say, a, a B, a C student when I was in high school. But when I got into the program, I started becoming a B and stronger A student, and that, you know, progressed with, you know, going to college, and I, I went straight A's for the first time. And with that, it was a strong background that they provided for me to have the conferences I have today and also excel well in my classes and my courses at the college and maybe wherever I go in my job field. Mm -hmm. I know that when I was in that program as a high school student, um, I was a mature high school student and I appreciated being uh, treated like an adult, even though I was, you know, 18 years old or 17. Um, I really appreciated being uh, treated like adult. I was right next to adult students. Do you feel the same way or how did it work for you there? Oh, it worked really lovely. I, I love being in high school, but I love more being at MTI. and. That opportunity to just, you know, when everyone's breaking the shell, I'm an adult, and you, you start, you know, taking ownership. You want to be an adult right away. You want to learn, you know, to drive and get your learners and your license and have that job. And oh, this helped me so much to communicate with, you know, all the students. And we were all different. We were all different ages. And that just worked really well. I liked it a lot because I got to be treated as an adult, not just be as a student, as a high school student. Yeah, I can say, mm -hmm, I could say that my experience at MTI uh, in the same program as a high school student was very beneficial for myself. I run my home like a business, and um, I think I do a pretty good job. And. Uh, it really helps you. It was a really core of what we do in everyday life. You get along with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us, and we'll be right back. We're here today with Ramon Torres, and how are you today? I'm doing well. Good. So, what? Where are you? Are where are you in your occupation these days? Uh, currently, I work for M and I Bank as a customer service representative. And I understand um, you attribute some of your success in life to Manatee Technical Institute. I actually attribute all of my success uh, to uh, MTI. Uh, they've been the foundation to all my educational um, achievements and ev and everything that I pursue you know, from here and, and in the future. And what program were you in? Uh, at the time in high school, I was dual enrolled at Bayshore, but I was also enrolled here in the drafting and design program. And how did you like that program? I, I love that program, to be honest with you. I uh, am more mature um, at that time, and I wanted to find a way to challenge myself. And also, I was pursuing a uh, career in mechanical engineering at that time, so I felt that having a drafting degree would benefit me in, in uh, pursuing that goal. So you uh, graduated from high school and you had also the draftsman skills behind you? Yes, correct. Very good. So did you go to get, did you get a job in that field? Uh, I actually had an internship with World Design. Um, Michelle Mullich, uh, my CAD instructor, and all, along with uh, Mr. Cronhart, um, got me a uh, position as a draftsman for, uh, like I said, World Design. Um, an architect. Um, I did a lot of drawings while I was there. I was there for about a year. Um, I actually helped uh, finish some drawings for a uh, quick stop 10-minute um, oil change that is currently on uh, 41 in Bradenton. Okay. And um, so you work with Mr. Cronhart and uh, Michelle Mulek. And um, tell me a little bit about them and um, how they facilitated your education in getting a job there. Um, like my mother had mentioned before, uh, Mr. Cronhart was uh, a hard teacher, but not in the sense that it was uh, difficult, more in the sense of getting you prepared for what is out there in the real world. Uh, when you're in high school, you're, you're told that, you know, that things will be easy. Unfortunately, reality kicks in. And uh, with Mr. Cronhart, he actually 
uh, did help out a lot with that, got me prepared, got me how to uh, write a resume, got me how to speak in public. So it was more, it was more on top of just learning how to draw. Uh, Michelle, she got me uh, involved with uh, VICA, which I believe now it's called Skills USA. Uh, taught me how to become a leader. Um, I was the very shy type, not the type that sits in front of you now. Um, always in the corner. Um, but she found me and she got me prepared and, and I did the opening and closing ceremonies. Took uh, the first team from uh, MTI at that time all the way to the national level. Uh, received some awards uh, on the way. And she taught me also about learning how to involve what I learned drawing on Mr. Cronhart's side, which was on paper and pencil, to more of a technology-based uh, environment. That they're using today yes. now. Mm -hmm. So your experience with uh, VICA was one of um, bringing you, giving you confidence that you think is, um, has been very beneficial in your success and what you've been doing? Yes, it was, it was uh, highly beneficial. Um, like I said, I, I was very shy, did not like talking to people. I would probably be the person in the back of the corner right now. Um, got me out to be spoke, you know, to be outspoken, to learn how to speak, to learn how to carry myself in, in any type of situation, whether it's a meeting with uh, your superior or a meeting uh, with the board of directors. You know, once you, you learn how to uh, acquire the skills that Vika has taught, you know, teaches people, you use them everywhere in everyday life. So I'm, I'm hearing from you, you just didn't receive uh, drafting skills, you uh, received lifelong skills that you can use in any place that you go. That's wonderful. Um, and speaking with your sister, I find out that she's continuing her education. Uh, are you doing the same thing? Uh, like she had mentioned before, we, we are a family that we are always competing. Me and my sister have our own thing. Oh, by the way, you're just as handsome even though you have the brains. Thank you. Um, but yes, we, uh, I'm continuing my education at the moment. I'm working on my uh, MBA at uh, Webster University. And then from there, actually getting things set up for, uh, to start applying to law schools. Well, great. I think that will probably work in with your mom's business as well. You're going to help. You're not going to leave your mom, are you? No. Actually, yeah, me and my mom, we set this up three years ago, and, and it's been a long, life, long um, life dream of hers to do something and give back to the community, and I, I plan to carry on her legacy um, further. Like she said, expand it as much as possible, helping people, giving back. What would you say uh, how MTI mattered? Um, in your life at this point and for you personally? For me personally, uh, MTI, it, like I said, I use everything I learn from the, from the technical aspect of learning how to draw, from the leadership, from simple things as just learning how to write a resume to how to write a memo. All those things I use every day. It's not just one skill that you learn here at MTI. It's lifelong skills that will serve you in whatever you choose to do, whether or not you choose to change careers like I have um, from drafting at that time to business now into law. It's for any type of person who is looking to better themselves and, and um, you know, make, make themselves known that they have the skills to back up, back up their education. So you're working at M&I Bank and you went to the drafting department how did that work? Well, um, I mentioned I graduated from MTI with a drafting certificate in AutoCAD. Uh, I had an internship with uh, World Design under an architect. I did that for a year. Uh, I loved it and, and everything. Um, but I have also learned that I'm a very people person. So I wanted to be involved more with, the, with people and the public as much as I can. Um, so using the skills that I've learned at MTI, um, uh, you know, I've, and also with the um, teachings from Mr. Cronhart and Michelle, uh, moved into a uh, banking career, and currently that's what I've been doing for the last uh, seven years now. Not just as uh, somebody that's counting the money in the back, but in customer service. So you went from somebody that was kind of quiet when you first came into MTI to somebody who loves working with the people right there with customer service. Exactly, and you would have never thought that if you would have saw me back then that I would be that type of person. And 
sounds like it looks like you're enjoying what you're doing. I do. I, it's always a challenge, and like I said, I always lean on the skills um, that I've learned here uh, through MTI from you know drafting and and Vika and all that. So I always use those skills no matter where I go. Well, I hope we can rely on you to be one of our judges in our upcoming uh, state competition that we have. I will look forward to it. Well, thank you, and we'll be right back. And welcome back to MTI Matters. We're here with the Torres family. Unfortunately, Ramon Torres Sr. could not make it uh, today. So we're gonna find out a little bit about Ramon Sr. through his family. So um, where is Ramon Sr. Uh, presently? Where is he working right now? Uh, Ramon works at uh, Sun Hydraulics. Uh, he's a tester. And uh, he uh, would love to be here today, uh, but unfortunately, he's so loyal to his company that he wants to be over there. Okay. And before he um, started working in Sun Hydraulics, um, he was working, I understand, um, for a company for a long period of time. And what made him change careers? Uh, the reason he changed careers, uh, he was working for El Conquistador. And uh, he realized that um, he didn't have uh, skills. And if uh, one day they were to uh, lay him off, uh, he would not have any um, skills to go work in another company. So he decided to come to MTI. And what program did he get involved in? Uh, he got involved in mechanical, I mean, sorry. Uh, he got involved in machinists. Machinists. Yes. Okay, and um, when was that, that he started that program? I understand that um, uh, he had longevity in his previous uh, job where he never missed a day. Yes, he uh, worked uh, seven days a week, Saturday and Sunday, and he never missed one day. He was an excellent employee. And obviously he's an excellent employee to this day because he couldn't be here He's got to be, they really need him. That's commendable, very commendable. Yes. So um, he went into the machine program. Did he ever tell you about his experience? Did um, he talk with you guys about his experience at MTI in the machinist program? Um, what I saw my dad was uh, he lit up like a bright house. I mean, he just was excited. He was like a little kid jumping up you know, and he would just describe what he learned like a little kid. I learned this today, and it was kind of exciting to see him go through that stage. And, and at the same time, I was learning, and he was learning at the same time. And to see him grow from that, that was nice, and that he enjoyed it. Well, that's great. Um, did you talk about any instructors um, along the way that helped him, like he, you all have talked about your instructors? Uh, yes, he said his instructor gave him a, a, a lot of skills on how to perform his job where he's working now, and he loved it. Uh, he not only got a job where um, he gets he earns good money, he uh, has good benefits, and he uh, has an excellent attendance in uh, the company where he said it's a, a very good company to work for. And he was placed on there by the uh, MTI and his teacher. Did he say anything specific about, you know, you all mentioned that, um, uh, you mentioned that uh, Michelle, or Michelle helped you along the way. Did he mention anything specific about his instructors? Uh, yes, his instructor, David Guineer, I believe that's who. David uh, Guineer? Yes, he was the one that was his instructor. And uh, anytime he had a problem or anything, uh, he would go to him and he would help him not just to learn machinists, but to learn, uh, uh, educate him on how to be out at, uh, at his job, how to answer questions. And, and uh, he was very proud of his teacher. Very good. Now, what would you say, um, if in his words, um, what do you think he would say how MTI mattered personally just for him? What do you think he would say? Um, knowing my father, um, he would highly recommend MTI. Um, he worked, uh, like my mom had mentioned, for El Conquistador for over 10 years, seven days a week, 
um, from five in the morning till late at night, dusk hours, um, to where he's at currently working 40 hours a week in a job that he can go home and be proud of what he does. And um, he is like myself. He loves to be challenged, so he's always looking for the next thing to learn. So um, we're trying to get him into coming back to uh, do the uh, CNC uh, portion of the machine of the machinist. So. I'm very interested and I'm sure everybody else is interested in finding out a little bit more personal information about um, yourselves. So um, how did you meet Ramon Sr.? I met him here in Florida and uh, Bradenton. And uh, I came from Texas up here with my family. And I met him here. We got married and we stayed here in Bradenton. Okay, and where is Ramon Sr. from? He's from Mexico, and he also came down to Florida, but he was in Roskin, okay. and that's how we met. Okay, and so obviously you met and married yes. in? Yes, uh, we got married, and then we had our children, Ramon and Elizabeth, and uh, what uh, started everything with me was that uh, uh, after my children grew up, I, I just had a plan, and the plan was to see how my children could get a better education. And uh, I started uh, inquiring about uh, schools and uh, which schools offered uh, good things for my children. So it was a plan from day one for me. Very good. We need more mothers just like you in our community, that's for sure. Um, Ramon Senior, Jr., I understand that um, when your mom was in school um, and you were in school, you were inducted into the uh, Vocational Honor Society. Um, how was that? What, how did you feel about that? Was it a good thing? or? Uh, to me personally, um, it was a great thing. I know most uh, sons out there and daughters would kind of be embarrassed, oh, mom's here, or, or, you know, or uh, dad's here. Um, but for me, it was an honor. Um, to have my mom next to me uh, to be invoked into uh, the Honor Society here at MTI. And um, we still have the newspaper clipping. So. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you were proud because um, not a lot of, uh, she was, must have been a great role model to let everybody know that age does not make a difference, not that she was old, but older than you, um, that you can still come back to school and get, get a great education and get some extra skills through MTI and uh, not just to graduate from a program, but to excel to the point that you were nominated for doing great things and into that National Honor Society. That's wonderful. Elizabeth, I understand that um, while you were going to school, your dad was in school with you. Mm -hmm. How was that? Oh, he's a different character than my mom. <laughs> I'd tell you that. It was, uh, it was fun and a very enjoyable experience. Of course, he always had to, you know, keep an eye on me, make sure I wasn't with the boys and stuff, make sure I was, you know, studying and doing what I'm supposed to be here for, you know, learning and getting education. Um, every once in a while, I'll probably throw a little glance. <laughs> but no, um, he, it was a fun experience to have my family come to the school and, you know, the experience I had with my dad, it, it's something that's going to take me for the rest of my life. And probably I'm going to pass this down to my, you know, children and tell them, you know, you know, the experience I had with my family. Well, that's wonderful. Um, Hilda, um, if we were to ask you um, at this point, um, you seems like you have started it all with the family, with your investigation, wanting to be a good mom, plan for the future. And it started out, seems like, with your desire at a young person, uh, as a young person, to want to be an architect or a, a lawyer. Um, so um, what would you say um, if somebody out there just like you um, was looking to um, for school, for their husband, their family, what would you say to them? Um, I would tell them to go ahead and start doing their investigation while their children are young. And I would highly recommend for them to check MTI. Uh, if I would have to go through it again, I would go ahead and come back to MTI. 
At this moment, uh, most of the people that come to my office is a business woman, have children, and they ask questions. I always tell them my story, and I tell them, go to MTI, check them out. Uh, they did a lot of good for my family, and uh, you should uh, look into that too for your children. They will give them a uh, the skill they need. Uh, like me as a mom, I was always concerned if my children graduate from 12th grade, um, what they don't have a skill. So basically they would just work anywhere on McDonald's or any simple job. And um, what, that's why I planned since they were small that when they graduate from their high school, they would go ahead and have a, their high school degree with their skill degree. Mm -hmm. And that was my goal for them to um, finish those two things almost at the same time. Okay. So everything came out good. Ramon Jr., um, what would you say about going to MTI as a dual enrolled student um, at the high school and coming to MTI at the same time and a little bit about um, encouraging maybe your uh, parents uh, to attend as well, like it's never too late? Um, as a dual enrolled um, individual uh, at that time, I would highly recommend to anyone looking out there um, to see beyond just their high school diploma. Uh, these days, uh, education is key in order to secure a good job. Um, so I would recommend for that individual or those individuals not sure of if college is for them. What I've come to realize is once you enter and you start learning and acquiring knowledge, whether it, it, whatever skill it is, you always hunger for that. So pretty sure if you're not college bound by then, by the time you're done with MTI, you will be. Okay. Elizabeth, how about you as a young female um, coming up, uh, dual enrolled as well, mm -hmm. but um, what would you say uh, your experience um, was in encouraging other young women to uh, pursue education? I would, pers um, I get advice to everyone, including my family, my cousins, and all young girls, because to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, I took advantage of it, and my brother as well, um, and it helped me because of not just being a woman, it's hard enough finding a job and, you know, securing it in the business world, too, to be as equal as, you know, with the men in that environment, but also to have that learning disability, it added a little bit more. Um, I encourage everyone, not just women, but um, anyone that has a learning disability that, you know, this will open up their, you know, the shell for them. This will give them the opportunity that they're, you know, looking for and seeking, that it's, it's a good opportunity to take advantage of. And you'll get skills that will be, um, you know, there's no limit to the skills that you can learn from here. The sky's the limit. Yeah, the sky's the limit. And um, also, you know, once you learn it, like my mom always says, no one can ever take that from you. You would take it to, you know, for the rest of your life. It sounds like uh, Hilda, uh, you and your husband um, are building a legacy, uh, one that's going to uh, continue with your children and uh, speaking that uh, Elizabeth said that she would teach the same to her children once she has children so that will be a wonderful thing well it's been great meeting and getting to know you all I'm so inspired myself mm -hmm. and thank you so much for taking the time to come out and encourage everybody um, and, and let them know how MTI matters for you as a family individually and how MTI matters with our community Thank you, Torres family. Thank you, Hilda. Thank you, Elizabeth Ramon Jr. You've certainly been very inspiring to myself and I'm sure all of our listeners. I'd like to take this opportunity to let you know that there are programs out there for you. Please contact Manatee Technical Institute at the address you'll see below the screen to find out more about our Alumni Association and programs that we have to offer to make your life matter. Until we meet again, 
I encourage you to tune in again to see why MTI matters for us, for you, and for our community. Thank you so much.